In this video, you will learn how to multiply fractions and how to divide fractions. For a quick review, these are the symbols that you might see for multiplication. Sometimes it's a dot, sometimes an X, sometimes it's an asterisk, and sometimes you might see a number right next to another number in parentheses. All of those things mean multiply. We also remember that if we multiply two numbers with the same sign, we get a positive product. Positive times positive equals positive. Negative times negative equals positive. And if you multiply two numbers with different signs, you get a negative product. So positive times negative or negative times positive are going to be equal to a negative number. These rules still apply for fractions and decimals. Division has specific symbols also. You might see this division symbol or the slash or even a fraction. Remember that a fraction means division. Also, the same rules apply for division as they do for multiplication. Dividing two numbers with the same sign will give you a positive quotient, and dividing two numbers with different signs will give you a negative quotient. Here's our first example for multiplying fractions. Find negative one-third times negative two and three-fourths. First, we can estimate. Negative two and three-fourths is very close to negative three. So let's estimate negative one-third times negative three. We know that negative times negative will be positive, so our answer is positive. And then one-third times three is one, because a third of three is one. So our answer, to be reasonable, needs to be somewhere around one. Just like in the example, we know that because the numbers have the same sign, the product is positive. So find the product of one-third and two and three-fourths. Now we need to write the mixed number, two and three-fourths, as an improper fraction. So two and three-fourths is equal to 11 fourths. That's two times four is eight plus three is 11. Then we have one-third times 11 fourths. If we multiply straight across, we get 11 on the top and three times four is 12 on the bottom. 11 twelfths. So negative one-third times negative two and three-fourths equals 11 twelfths. Is that answer reasonable? We estimated that the answer would be about one. 11 twelfths is very close to one. So yes, this answer is reasonable. Now you try it. Find the product and write the fractions in simplest form. Don't forget that part, simplest form. My recommendation is that you start by deciding what sign, positive or negative, your product is going to have. Write that down and then multiply your fractions. All right, go ahead and pause the video and try them. Are you ready for the answers? Number one, both signs are negative, so that means our product will be positive. Four fifths times two thirds. Multiply straight across, four times two is eight on top, five times three is 15 on the bottom. Positive eight fifteenths. Number two, four and a half times negative two and one third. We have different signs, so that means our product will be negative. We first have to change four and one half to an improper fraction. Four and one half equals nine halves. And we also have to change two and one third to an improper fraction. Two and one third equals seven thirds. Now we can set up the multiplication problem. Nine halves times seven thirds. Multiply nine times seven is 63 and multiply two times three is six. Now that can be simplified. We can divide the top and bottom both by three. 63 divided by three is 21. Six divided by three is two. And that can be simplified even farther by changing it into a mixed number. 21 halves is equal to 10 and 1 half. How did you do? Now that we've practiced multiplying fractions, let's practice dividing fractions. Our first example is to find 6 fifths divided by negative 4 thirds. When you first learned to divide fractions, you probably learned that we need to skip, flip, multiply, or multiply by the reciprocal of the second number. So we're going to flip the second number, negative four thirds, 
the reciprocal is negative three-fourths. And we're going to multiply by that number. Six-fifths times negative three-fourths. Now here's a little trick that you can use before you multiply to simplify before you get to the end. See how the six and the four are both divisible by two? You can divide them by two. So six divided by two is three. That's why you see it slashed out with a three. And four divided by two is two. So we can actually cross those out and change them to a three and a two because one of them's on the top and one's on the bottom. You don't have to do that. You could just leave it as six times negative three and five times four, and then you just have to simplify your fraction later. So when we multiply straight across, we get three times negative three, which is negative nine, and five times two, which is 10. So we have negative nine over 10, or negative nine tenths. Now you try it. Find the quotient and write the fractions in simplest form. Pause the video, try it, and then start it back up to see how you did. You ready for the answers? Number one should be positive two and two fifths. Make sure you not only got the sign right, but also the number correct, and you simplified it the best that you could. Number two, negative one eighth. Again, make sure you got the sign right, not just the number. If you got those answers, then that's great. You can continue on. If not, will you please pause the video and take a really good look at the work shown here so that you can get a better understanding of how to do this. You'll wanna have really good examples written in your notes to make sure that you have something to look back at when you're doing your practice. Now you should know how to multiply fractions and how to divide fractions. Thanks for watching.